I'm gonna show you a new app. It's called Duet. You can get it on the App Store. Um, I got it last month. They had it on sale for ten bucks. They have it on sale this month for about fifteen. But if you notice here, I got my iPad connected to my MacBook. Okay, so this is what you can do with it. You can basically use it as a second display for if you were doing multitasking. So I'm gonna go ahead and scroll that over, and there you go. Nice thing about this is all portable, so if you take your devices with you like I do sometimes, um, and you needed a second display for whatever reason, so I'm going to go open up, let's say, Google Chrome over here now. Um, so there you go. I got um, two different operating, I mean, two different uh, browsers, web browsers running right now. Um, the nice thing about it that I found, which I thought was really cool, was, so let's just say I'm going to go over here and I'm going to type in YouTube. All right. Um, the touchscreen functionality on the iPad, it still functions sometimes. There we go. All right. So you can actually go on ahead and still use the, your fingers to, you know, control your iPad. Um, make that bigger. I don't know. That was the Golden Globe Awards last night, playing off YouTube. Um, right now you probably don't hear that, but there you go. Um, so the volume's coming off my MacBook, which is nice because your MacBook actually has better sound system, you know, speakers as far as uh, the iPad. Or you can use something like this, which is Bluetooth compatible and, um, you know, have a little better sound. I mean, I'm sure people at the coffee shop would probably be pissed at you. but um, Or you can bring your Dr. Beats headphones or whatever headphones you might have. Um, but the nice thing about this is, I mean, you can play something obviously there. doesn't matter. I mean, you can figure out how you want to utilize this. Um, I'm just going to hit escape. And all the functions, your mouse, your trackpad, everything works. Um, now, the nice thing about it is, I mean, if you needed a third display, um, you can actually go ahead and I'm just going to briefly just demonstrate that. Um, I have at home, you know, my Apple TV. So I can just go on ahead and go on here and connect display to Apple TV. And now, I just did AirPlay. And I got a third display over there. So any one of these windows that I might have open, I can go ahead and let's say I'm going to drag that over there right now. And I don't know, I need to open up something else. So let's say I wanted to open up, I don't know, let's go popcorn time. Now the thing is that now that I'm using that um, Apple TV, whatever I play, it's actually going to come out through the TV as far as sound. So here we're going to play Tina over there and um, you might get some lag now because I am air playing but uh, just trying to demonstrate some of the functionalities and things you can do with it. So there you go. So that's playing over there on my Apple TV through my Apple TV and I can still multitask. Got two displays right here um, and do whatever work I need to do or you know you get it. Um, let me know what you think. Uh, just so you know, this app's about 15 bucks on the App Store. I did get it last month on sale for about 10.